Hello everybody, welcome to the Fort Vancouver. Every student at the Vancouver School of Arts and Academics, more than 500 of them, learn about the history of our area with all-day field trips. Some of them, like these students, went to Fort Vancouver. There were five groups in all, covering everything from Native American life to nature to pioneer settlers. But it wasn't just a one-day event. It's part of the Confluence Project, an undertaking six years in the making. Helen Raptus has more. We've never done anything quite like this. Teacher Jerry Swatosh gets excited when she talks about the Confluence Project. More than 30 schools across the Northwest were given grants to build public works of art to explore how the Lewis and Clark expedition changed the course of history. For VSAA, the artwork is a giant mosaic. The entire school is engaged in making, um, designing, they've done research, making tiles that will go in the huge mosaic tile project. The school's western wall has several archways that used to be picture windows, but were bricked in decades ago. When the project is complete, six of them will be covered in tiles, designed and crafted by students and staff. Each of those mosaic panels has a theme that relates to the legacy of the Northwest. So now, the archways that once let students look out onto the world will serve as windows to local history. I hope that, that uh, the students are learning lots about these connections, that we're all connected to the coast, all the way to Idaho, um, and that we are really connected to the river. Jane Jacobson is the executive director of the Confluence Project. She says that our area isn't just where Portland and Vancouver collide. It's long been a place for people of all kinds to come together. If you imagine the Columbia as the I-5 and a gathering place, this was a real uh, convergent point and so it was a confluence point. The confluence project marked seven places along Lewis and Clark's trail where rivers and people have intersected throughout history. Each of these sites is home to public art projects led by renowned artist Maya Lin, most famous for designing the Vietnam Memorial in our nation's capital. Now six years after the project began, VSAA is getting close to the finish line. The students at Fort Vancouver, the walking bridge that spans Highway 14, and the other field trip sites gather inspiration for their tiles. It's a school full of artists, so each student reflects in his or her own creative way. And as they take it all in, the history of our area, as well as the history they're making, is not lost on the students. I want to be able to feel like I had a part in something and I'm not just one student out of 500, 600 students in a school, in a district. I think it's really cool because it's just like, you know, it's not something you normally get to do for school, to go and like step back into history. That's the lesson Jerry Swatosh hopes the students understand. Choices that were made 200 years ago, how they impact us today, and how choices we make today will impact the next 200 years. For In the Know, I'm Helen Raptus. Other Vancouver schools, such as Thomas Jefferson Middle School and Fort Vancouver High School, have already finished their projects. VSAA hopes to be done by the end of the school year. 